As of this moment, you're face to face with Escanor, the lion sin of pride. I ask that you not harbor any hatred towards me. Oh! Yeah, I just did that. Too many people are riding Escanor's schmeech stick in the Elden Ring community without showing any love for Estherosa. So, you know, today we're going to change that. A few moments later. Okay, so first I would like to start off by saying if you just prefer faith or maybe I'll say arcane builds, this would be for you. But if not, you should probably look somewhere else because this, this is only faith over here. Okay, so starting off, we have Estherosa's best substitute for his most renowned weapon, his sacred treasure, the Black Dagger you will see him carrying. Now, the Black Dagger is found in the Sainted Hero's Graves located in Lanedale. After killing the Black Knife Assassin, you will get it. Now, take to mind that this is pretty difficult depending on your setup, but I believe you guys got this. Now with the foundation of our build already acquired, it is time to move on to our next piece, which would be the parrying dagger, or if you're a shield user, I would recommend getting a shield that you could parry with. Now the parrying dagger will serve as the substitute for Estherosa's move full counter as he is in the anime. Now if you play Elden Ring just as much as I do, you would also know that the pairing up in this game is very difficult to pull off, but if you're just that guy, I would recommend going for it. You could possibly do a lot more damage than this build particularly dishes out. Now in the process of making this video, I also found out that the God Slayer incantations do not work on the Black Knife, therefore I'm not able to particularly give the Black Knife the aesthetic power that it has up in the anime. Along with this reasoning, nor was I able to get the trench coat that Estherosa wears as there are little to no trench coats in Elden Ring, but as a substitute I would recommend getting the Scaled Knight's armor or just going shirtless, whichever you prefer. I wouldn't blame going shirtless though. Huh? <clears throat> but moving on though, I would recommend using the Scaled Knight Greaves or the Banished Knight Gauntlets. If you would also like, you can throw on the Scaled Knight's armor. It has decent stats and isn't too heavy to max out your equipment load. And as a bonus, something that will save you a little time would be to get the Radigan Sword Seal Talisman from the fort near the large white dragon in Kaelin. It will boost your stats up in exchange for you taking more damage upon getting hit in fights. But moving on, as far as incantations go, I went with the Blessing of the Earth Tree incantation to grant the continuous healing abilities that the demon race has from the anime. If you want, you can also add the Ur Tree Heal incantation. To let you see how effective this build is, I'm going to show you gameplay of me using this build with a character I made from scratch. And for those who would like to skip the gameplay, my character stats will be shown at the end of the video and you can go from there. So I thought what better way to test this build than to do PvP. So I've provided some PvP clips and I have proof of me completing the game with this build at the end. A few moments later. Yeah. 